Once upon a time, there lived a widow in the village of Mekusa. She had five children, Serena, Simbi, Sara, Tanko, and Dumbi. They were poor and lived from hand to mouth. The widow's children were hardworking, obedient, and humble, except one of them, the oldest child called Serena. Serena was unkind, greedy, and selfish. She also steals. Whenever their mother cook, Serena eats up all the food. One day, their mother came back from the market, only to discover that there was no food at home. Who ate all the food in the pot? She asked angrily. It's not me, Mama, Serena quickly answered. I didn't go near the pot, Simply added. We have been playing outside with our friends, others answered. Does that mean that the fruit grew wings? Their mother asked. But her probing eyes were on Serena. The widow was forced to punish every one of them. It breaks her heart that one of her children stole and she had to punish them all. Apart from stealing, Serena was very greedy and selfish. Most times, when her mother is out, Serena eats up all her siblings' portion of food and they always watch her hungrily and cry, pleading, but she never gives them their food. One day, when the poor widow came back, her children complained bitterly about their sister. She cautioned Serena and warned her about the consequences of greed. Serena didn't change. Her mother's teaching had no effect on her. Other children stay away from Serena because of her bad behaviors. She bullies children a lot and they run away from her. In Mercusa village, there was a festival. The villagers celebrated to honor the river goddess. There was a lot of food to eat and drink for everyone on the day of the festival. The village masquerades came out to entertain the villagers and they all made merry. That same day, the chief priest would go to the bank of the river and offered sacrifices to the river goddess. The sacrifices was food and fruits on a calabash. The next day, after the festival, Serena and her siblings went to the forest to fetch firewood for their home. On their way back, they passed the river and saw the sacrifice meant for the river goddess. Serena became greedy and longed to eat the food. She pretended to be pressed and she asked her siblings to continue while she go eat herself. They wanted to wait for her but she insisted that they go without her. They left and Serena quickly went to pick up the calabash of sacrifice. She sat down and ate everything in the calabash. Several weeks after, calamity befell the people of Mercusa. People suffered from strange ailments and many died. There was famine and drought in the land. The king became worried and asked the chief priest to consult the oracle. The chief priest did and the oracle told him that the sacrifice that was offered was eaten by a child in the village. The river goddess asked the villagers to fetch the child to be offered as sacrifice. The village town crier was asked to go and announce to the villagers about the atrocity and asked anyone involved to confess. Mothers drew their children aside to tell them the truth. Serena's mother drew her aside and questioned her to say the truth if she is guilty. Serena refused to confess and denied. Serena's mother didn't believe her. She had this strange feeling in her heart that Serena had something to do with the missing sacrifice. When no child confessed, the entire children in the village were asked to go to the river bank. Each child was to go into the river and sang this song. If I was the one who ate the sacrifice, after singing this song, let the stream swallow me and let me disappear to the palace of the river goddess. Nothing happened to all the children 
that went into the river and sang the song. Serena went in boldly and sang the song. She was about to come out when the river made a funny sound and swallowed her up. Everybody went back to the king's palace, very sad. The chief priest asked parents to teach their children not to be greedy. Greed has its consequences. Serena's mother heard about what happened and screamed in agony while other women consoled her. Meanwhile, Serena found herself at the bottom of the river, amongst mermaids. The river goddess made her a slave and she was treated with much cruelty. Serena regretted her action. She wished she had listened to her mother. It was already too late to change. Serena never saw her mother or siblings again. She remained a slave to the river goddess and lived in total misery. She lived in regrets and beat her fingers in sorrow every day. If only she knew, she would have obeyed her mother and be a good girl. What lesson did you learn in this story? I would love to know in the comments. The first 20 people to get the right lessons from this story, I will be gifting a copy of any of our stories. So subscribe, like, comment what lessons you learned and until we see you again bye